which is huge. Uh, it's going to be happening over on January. No, January. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's going to be happening over on June 24th uh, this month. Midnight on the DK. What an interesting choice. Ha, oh, double dash tag. Man, DK, DK's dash tag is, lasts longer than when you would expect, man. It upsets me every time I get hit by it. Oh, that was good, too, because he would have caught. If if Morris also was panicking, he might have just tried to go for a directional air dodge as a landing. Thank God he ain't no chump. He's able to land on the stage properly this time. He gets the back air. What a tough trade, man. That... Yeah, DK can actually wreck Wolf. Nair? Oh, no. That's the start of... Yeah, no. Yeah, I was going to say, right before the start, like, literally the starting frames. Wolf can have a problem. Like, I think this... Wolf can never have a problem with DK. I agree on that. That side hitbox, man, it's just so annoying. Each time War Salsa has been trying to go for the spike, he has just been denied by Spinning Kong. Up air? Oh, what a changeup, too. He went for down just to see if he was going to try to um, possibly land on the platform. What a reach, man. That forward smash is basically a big sword. What a read on the getup. Nair? No, miss Nair. Good. Morris also looking for center stage. I think he needs to do that. He needs to catch him on the landings. What a parry. Morris also has to watch out. I was going to say, yeah, he has to watch out. Like, even if it wasn't the punch, if it was for, if it had been anything like forward smash or side B, that would have been curtains. That was good for more salsa. We'll have to watch out with the panic, yeah. And it's tough, even if he doesn't get the ding dong, the thing here is that he resets the neutral in which Wolf has to go for a landing in which he can read that. Good down smash from more salsa. I uh, definitely see that. See how that was going through. So, and the way the down smash works with that particular portion of the stage, it's just enough knockback, so it was totally fine. Up air. This is a little bit of a ladder combo. He needs to finish off here his food. Watch the landing. Okay, good. That nair will be able to really safely poke through. Watch out for the may yeah, That's it. You, it's so hard to mash out in that situation. Because you're at higher percents. In any given situation, if you were at early percents, it would have been fine. But the problem for Wolf is if he tries to mash out, either Midnight could react to that, or he's just too low and he won't be able to recover. And Wolf's recovery is what makes him pretty much a glass cannon. No, even if he mashed, it, you, it, you're at higher percent. It's harder to mash out a higher percent from command grabs like that. From ZSS stun to Incineroar to... To DK, like it's it's hard to mash out when you're in situations like that. Yeah, it, it's not worth the controller mashing, dude. You're at higher percents, and then at that point, you were way too low off the stage. And if you mashed out wrong, Midnight could have reacted to that and then punish you, or at worst. In this case, the situation was he was just too low on the stage. He was he was done. He was literally done. Nothing he could do. Oh, uh, Guapo, I'd be down to commentate. I'd be down to commentate next week. <laughs> Magic is how you get caught. <laughs> yeah, honestly, at that situation, you have to accept your fate. Three, two, one. Yeah, Guapo, we could commentate next week, dude. I'm, I'm super down. All right, well, mid this time it's changing. Now we're seeing... Normally, you would see Midnight on the Palu, but... He's going to be sticking with his DK even after the character swap. Palu destroys DK. But Midnight, De he's on something right now. He 
can still survive. He's heavy. This is this is literally a big gorilla. Good use of your air dodge right away. Unfortunately, that recovery will not be good against Palutena's back air. Yeah, Palutena just eats, eats DK for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The only reason why I feel like more salsa would lose if he was a little bit too over aggressive, but also it's just the fact that like Midnight also knows the character, so he might be able to try to punish Palutena's weaknesses. That'll be the stock. That's so ridiculous. You can't even. I don't know, chat. Chat. I'm. I'm sure I'm not wrong. You can't even SDI out of that. You just take all the hits and you die. I'm surprised there's people in chat who remember Harambe. Yeah, you can't. You can't SDI, bro. You just. You just you just die, that's it. <laughs> you accept fate. Like like literally at like the cargo throw at high percent, that's it. Oh, what a trade. That that hurts. That hurts. That that that's where like you try to go for the style, but you get style them. That, that's what it hurts the most. And just like that, man, Mene has a chance to actually come back. Yeah, I was gonna say you have to air dodge. Don't directional air dodge at that point. Yeah, I was gonna say that was so good. He up tilted, went for center stage, because at that situation you have to really just take the control and then punish Palutena after that. Because now you hold all the cards at center stage, and if Palutena is gonna have to try to fight back from center stage, is gonna be against you. And if you get hit, you have center stage to so have a better chance of survival. Good stuff on midnight. Stage he definitely has a good understanding of like, all right, cool. Let me get the stage control, because that's what really matters here. A back air day keeps the DK away, man. That's all I'm seeing right now. <laughs> Almost a grab. Down throw, that's a that's a oh I was gonna say, he could have just definitely just down throw it and then look for the panic. No, not like this. No, you, you, she has to survive. He has to recover now. No way. No way. Oh my God. I was still in shock, dude. I'm hurt. I'm hurt for more salsa. And that's the thing though, is like most teleport, most teleport recoveries, they're not truly, truly, truly teleports. Like there's about a, a frame window where you can actually punish your opponent for that. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, that's, thank you. Like, I'm glad Midnight said that. Because, yeah, I was going to say, like, Palo's, Palo's teleport, it isn't a true teleport. Like, it's not like she's invincible the whole time. You can actually hit her afterwards. She doesn't auto-snap the ledge, as you would think. Like, she has a two-frame window or, like, a four-frame window, which you can actually hit her for. All right, potentially the last game of the night, man. I, I think at this point, more salsa just folds the cards and says, if you can't beat him, join him. Oh my god, all the back ends in the world, more salsa! But unfortunately, you're too far off the stage.
Back air? Oh no. What a change up to do down air. That's an up air. Oh, okay. Go for an air. Go for it, man. Get the air. Get the. Oh my god. Oh my god. Midnight. Pause. Somebody hit the tactical pause, man. We gotta analyze that. Jesus. There's there's a whole terminology that I cannot say, but man, he is literally going. Hold on, let's see if the chat catches it here. <laughs> Midnight. Oh my god. I hate this character, bro. I hate this guy. I actually hate DK. I actually hate DK. <laughs> Good stuff to Midnight. Oh my God. 3 0. And he is your last chance qualifier winner for the Alzheimer's OC Invitational. Jesus, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Midnight.